So for the second question, question number two, you are provided with a rectangular glass block, a plane mirror, this is rectangular glass block, this is a drawing board, drawing paper, and the others, just for you to understand exactly that the question may represent the block which is A, B, C, D with a plane mirror behind it. And if these two are combined, it means that you obtain means that you obtain a diagram like this P1, P2 P3 P4 with E and here, you may be asked to record this place as theta, and also record the distance here as d. So the diagram may appear like this. So hence the, the back of the prism is blocked. This is exactly such that anyone and uh, normal n1 and n2 are represented so based on the law of refraction and reflection this is exactly what you obtain this is what you obtain from the combination of plain mirror and the uh, rectangular glass prism that's what you obtain so hence you are able to work on this you will obtain all necessary information based on this. So this is exactly what we're expecting in number two. With the presence of the plane mirror, that's what we see. But without the plane mirror, all normal diagrams for for plane mirrors and um, that of the rectangular glass prism still observed. Like the ones you did already, all those ones you did already, you still go back to them. Because if they remove the plane mirror, it will certainly give you like the these ones you did already. All these ones you did already. But hence they combine the two. You will now obtain this. That's exactly so. I want to advise every student to practice this. And also practice other diagrams of single plane mirrors and that of uh, the rectangular glass block. And that is exactly the last information required here. So, thank you so much for the for listening the entire program. I wish you good luck. Now your exams. Thank you.